Yeah, hello everybody. Today we got something very special. It does look like tiny ball or it's kind of animal poop. But actually this is something that actually this is something that very special, very unique. A lot of people might never see this before. It's kind of very special cocoon that from the beetle. It pretty much similar with the what do we say with the silk worm. The processing is when they lay down the egg in the ground. Then they will hash into the worm or caterpillar. Afterwards, the kind of caterpillar update themselves into cocoon, and then they started to find some kind of natural leaf or something nearby. Could be animal poop. Could be the hay from the rice, could be the grass, or could be others. But on the other hand, the silk worm, when they update into the process of cocoon, they try to make the silk around themselves to protect. And then they break the silk and hush into the butterfly. But here's different. This they try to pick up whatever the dirt or whatever is around themselves to be the protection, to be the new house, to protect the shell. Because the shell, when they hit with a strong sun, the shell gonna damage. Then they use this to protect from also from the ants or from the other predator. Right, let's jump through on this. I'm going to open what it's going to be like but it's going to be very huge right. here you go here like this right here's very special very huge look like over here they make very smooth very nice layer here Last two weeks times, this were the, they got no black shell. They were just white with very soft. I think this guy almost on time to hash. What's there? Oh, yep. oh they already peeled, you see? They peeled themselves from the cocoon into the big toilet. This. Here. This is beautiful. Soon this gonna hash into the into the beetle and they started to walk and find the partner to breathe to breed. This actually I found under the what it what we call under the haze of the the rice. When we harvest the rice we found this. I mean we collect the hay put in one Place and then this was underneath it. It's very be beautiful. Look over here. I just want to show everybody. Just look over here. This here is the horn. Can you see? See here, right? The horn. This is kind of the thing that he could dig the ground to make the hole for themselves to leave or they also can dig the root, the tree, tree trunk to find the food as well. Look here, he got six legs, six tiny legs here. Mm -hmm. Here's the head part, the body part, the head part over here to the body part over here. And he got, of course, his wingspan like this. 
first layer of wingspan it's kind of his protection his protection this is the thing that he could fly this guy his other layer here this is the thing that he fly but his body is very soft very soft good when they have this they could protect themselves and they got very tiny mouths here tiny mouths and the eyes very tiny eyes here please comment on below if you got any idea or what do we call this what I mean this I'm going to call giant beetle very huge the, the side of my thumb but this not yet grow up they will getting bigger after they get out of their this this park this house it's beautiful isn't it All right so that's it for this insect thank you very much and please leave your comment below if you got any idea or what it, it is and hopefully this is one of your favorite thank you very much let's say bye